yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in, yeah, flex. I just wanna win. Dual motor, so it's got the front wheel drive, the rear wheel drive. It's slightly, not slightly. It's actually a, a, quite a bit more powerful than the standard motor, but it's not nearly as powerful as their performance model, which is just ridiculously fast. Uh, but this one's still pretty fast. That's the battery. This is the battery. Yep, it'll tell you how many miles range. You can set the limits on um, that type of stuff. We named it Noob Noob after the Rick and Morty character. Noob Noob. Um, more the games and stuff. Oh yeah, we were, we were doing that. This is the this is the toy box in case you like, you know, in the in the winter time if it gets cold, you put on the fire, and then as you can feel, it's gonna start blowing heat out Damn. <laughs> on the front and keep you warm. Deja vu. Song stuff for you. Go on Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, so you can film this and then watch it on the car. Yeah, exactly, if you wanted to. Very press one of the shows ever though. Yeah. I get that. Is that is that the front camera too or the back? That's the back ready. Let's catch the UPS oh, guy. Oh my god. <laughs> going in a straight line until it gets closer. I had to turn it off now. It would have slowed itself down, but I'll show you on a little more of a curvy road up here. Um, really how the self-driving can turn. I can, the, the vehicle will do, you know, it'll, it'll drive itself through traffic. Now, what you can buy, and it costs about $6,000, is a feature where the car will drive itself. You just GPS it and say, I want to go take me home. But on self-driving, the car will drive you home. Wow! This one doesn't have that. It has the autonomous driving. Again, we put it in here. Let's set it at the speed limit. You'll see, it'll start to, it'll find its way <laughs> and, and rotate the tire lines. Say it never gets its speed inspected. Never it'll inspected. It'll start slowing itself down. Inspection. Because it's recognizing there's a vehicle in front of us. And as the vehicle now speeds up, the car will get within a distance that you program. Go how much miles it has left? Yes. Oh wow. When that bar goes down, how do you charge it back up? It's well, we this is how you get out of your test. No, elbow the door and push it out. Yeah. No, uh, whatever they're called. No handles. What is this glass made out of? <laughs> crazy this is the tesla card which is the key and you would as it shows you on the back you can tap it on the side of the door but this really is a backup what you do what they have you do immediately is register your car and your phone becomes the key so as you see if you hit tesla it brings up everything you need to know for the car now it's waking up right now, but this will in about five seconds or so connect with the vehicle. I love the name. Noob Noob. For all you Rick and Morty fans, Noob Noob. Must be someone. He gets me. Noob Noob. And the vehicle, there's so many things you can do online or on the phone or on the app with the key, including first getting into the car. When you get close enough to the vehicle, you can open the doors will open. You will be able to open it. And if you're like this distance, once it's locked, you have to be standing next to it. Um, and no one can be able to get in. Um, I can control the climate inside the vehicle by hitting the fan, turning the fan on when it's got the, like this, the vehicle now is cooling itself or heating itself, depending on what I have it set to. Um, it says the interior is 93. You can hear from here, the vehicle is cooling itself now. Um, it will bring it down to the temperature that I have it set at. Um, you can see the temperature is already coming down, 90, 91. It, it'll just continue to lower and lower um, until it's at 
either a cool enough or warm enough temperature. There are other cool things you can do with the vehicle. You can control anything in the vehicle. And again, you can do this all from, from home. If you want to you know, like mess with these people. Oh, geez, you know, who's honking the horn on the car? <laughs> um, to their kid and they don't want them driving over you know, a certain amount, you can set that. I don't have it set. Sentry mode, which basically if you have a USB card, the vehicle will record everyone around it. So if somebody tries to break in, you're on, you're on camera. Okay. And they know who it is. We'll open up the front, or the front trunk, which just opened from there. We'll open up the rear one. And now we'll take a look at some of the right, we look in there. As you can see, a lot, a lot of room. And then there's this compartment. Goes all the way down to the bottom bucket of the car. That's a big suitcase right there. And you got more storage in the corner there. Um, it's it's really and that vehicle comes with its own charger in case you want to plug it in somewhere. But that's it would take you forever to actually charge. Oh, why wow, you even have space in the front? Yep. Yep. Take these things out. Can that come on? These things can come off if you need access to one of the Tesla coil motors underneath here. But this is the only thing you really need, wiper fluid. A bonus clip of my dogs. Everyone, meet Harper. Harper. Matt. Einstein. And Einstein. And my dad. <laughs> Sign off.